Hi, I'm Claudia Brown Coulter with Pivotal Peace. I'm your go-to mediator for navigating divorce while you're parenting children with special needs. I'm also a legal document assistant, LDA, based in the greater Los Angeles area. Welcome to Finish Your Divorce Fridays, where we talk about step three of the process, the last step. So one of the most important things is legal advice. So let's talk about how to protect yourself and know when you need legal advice in a divorce. Spoiler alert, everyone needs some legal advice, even if it's only an hour of legal advice. Don't skimp on that. Don't skimp. Okay. So situations that could potentially uh, require legal advice. Maybe you have a complex financial situation. So for that, I would definitely start with the CDFA, Certified Divorce Financial Analyst, but I would also talk with an attorney so that you can strategize your approach to these complicated financial issues because they've seen it all. They can tell you how other people have handled it, how uh, the law says that it should be handled, and ways to do that properly. A lot of times what I see is a spouse wanting something and the other spouse doesn't think that they're entitled to it. And they ask me as a mediator, well, that's legal advice. I can't give you that. I can give you legal information, but I can't give you legal advice. I can tell you what other people have done, but I cannot tell you exactly what to do as if I were an attorney. No, 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 no. So in those situations, I say, hey, you know, why don't you speak with an attorney for 30 minutes? Not all attorneys are made the same, but there are many great consulting attorneys who will meet with you for 30 minutes and are an hour and not try to convince you to uh, let's get rid of mediation. Let's get rid of, you know, your legal document assistant and give me a retainer and I'm going to just fight for you. Many, many attorneys are like, okay, yeah, let's talk. Let's see. You know, actually your spouse is right. Or, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't give him or her all of that. So when things are complex and they're not cut and dry, you want to talk to an attorney. If you don't feel safe, if there's been a history of domestic violence or coercive control, which in court is really hard to prove, but if you don't feel safe, get an attorney. An attorney is your advocate. I like to think of an attorney as a shield. You may not be able to afford an attorney, but you may not be able to afford not having an attorney. And feeling safe is really important in this process and feeling in control. So if you feel like you can negotiate with your spouse in good faith, yeah, you don't get along, but you feel safe, great. But if you don't, then consider getting an attorney or consider seeking legal advice, okay? This is very, very important, very important. Seek that legal counsel. This is why we have lawyers. Okay, so what's the benefit? Why would you seek an attorney, especially if you're like, I can't afford them? You can't afford to not have an attorney if you need one. They're going to give you expert guidance. They're going to be able to tell you legally what you should and shouldn't do. Whether you do that or not is up to you, but they're going to give you advice. It's legal coaching. They are coaching you. They're a legal advisor and they are coaching you. Um, they are an advocate for you. They protect your interests. So as a legal document assistant, I don't advocate for you. As a mediator, uh -uh, I am neutral. I do not advocate for you. Your attorney can advocate for you. That's really, really important. This is somebody who it's like, they only have eyes for you. I only have eyes for you. I'm only thinking about your interest and what is best for you. I'm not thinking about your spouse. Mm -mm. Only have eyes for you. I, a lot of times, I, I well, I, I, I always tell my, my mediation clients, go consult with an attorney before you find, sign your final documents. My LDA client, go consult with an attorney before you file your final documents. Not everyone takes me up on it, but those who do, they usually come back with one or two changes. A lot of times it's minor, but we make the changes. The spouse is in an agreement. 
it's fine. But that's because that attorney is advocating for them and they're helping them see loopholes and things that they didn't see before. It didn't cost them $5,000. It cost them a few hundred dollars to have that appointment with the attorney. It's well worth it because it gives you peace of mind. It reduces your stress. If you know that there's someone you can talk to, you can schedule time with, or that is actually representing you, it reduces your stress because you've got somebody who who is walking with you through this in a manner that is um, the purpose is to keep you safe and protect your interests. So as a mediator, I'm walking you through and I'm now helping you navigate this divorce, but an, a lawyer is an advocate and they're fighting for you, so to speak. So how to find the right support. Okay, listen, you just need to ask me or you need to ask the mediator you're using or you need to ask the legal document assistant you are using. I know a lot of lawyers. I know I know a lot of great lawyers. And a lot of the lawyers I work with, they don't even go to court. They function as mediators or they function as consulting attorneys. They do things like that. So I have a lawyer who is a mediator. And when she has outside legal clients, it's just for legal advice. So as a mediator, I can send her a client and she can review their documents and she can give them great advice. So you want to look to family and friends and you want to look to professionals like myself who this is our job to know people, to refer you to people, good quality people, because not all lawyers are made the same. So you really want to work with someone who is like you and is committed to keeping the cost of divorce down and is not trying to drag you into court. Okay. Um, have a consultation. If you're thinking about retaining an attorney, go meet with them first. These cons most of the time, an attorney consultation isn't free. Sometimes they are, um, but pay the money. If you're really thinking about, okay, but I need to actually retain this attorney. I need somebody to represent me in court because we're going to have to go to court around this because there's DV involved or I don't feel safe or Go to a consultation. See if you and that attorney are right fit. Make sure you can afford that attorney as much as possible. Um, see if there's some sort of pain. You're going to have to put down a retainer. You're going to have to put down a retainer. Uh, but if your family and friends can help you make the payments, if you go beyond that retainer, if they're not, you know, if they'll allow you to keep kind of charging the bill and you pay in installments, find that out. That'd be great. And, you know, don't forget to look them up online and see what other people think about them. But, I, you know, the number one place to come is to come to professionals like me who we're not going to recommend you meet with someone who's not great. Doesn't mean that they're cheap. Okay. Okay. All right. You're going to finish your divorce and you're going to feel so fabulous. But when you meet with that attorney and get their legal advice there's a different type of relief there because you're going to feel smart. You're going to feel wise. You're going to feel protected and your stress level is going, going to go down. So don't forget to talk with an attorney before you sign the final paperwork. Have a great day. Have a good weekend and we'll see you on Monday.